You've got two players here for the defense. Dicey may have been spotted trying to get around the corner, but it's Sean to pick up the kill onto Asuna. That's his counterpart on the other side, and now they're wrapping. And they've got to get Dicey out of this position. The Tailwind to escape, but it's not fast enough. Can't get into the sewers quickly. And the spike will go down here for Gen G. Yeah, and unfortunately, things not going even, and Hiko taking so much damage on the way out there as well. So that 3v4 doesn't necessarily feel like that unless Hiko can find himself a solid angle. And with the spike planted, everybody proper on this site for Gen G. Drone gonna try and find some information. When low on HP, but he's got the stinger in hand, and it's the fall damage to actually find the kill onto Steel. Now it's all down to that low HP Hiko win to close it out, and Gen G. There's a nice flank there. Flash come out. It's a slow play towards A and Steel actually going to head the opposite direction. They're still holding it down on the site and Dice is able to find two here. Trying to battle back and knot us up at one and the A site is not free. The bouncer is at the door. It's all up to Mikael and he's able to find two. Clear it out but Nitro with the classic cover with an Ares. There's flashes coming through as they push on to B and they're trying to push that fight towards the backside of C. They now have to deal with Steel who's currently over inside the window and he's able to actually pick up two. Now the knives come out from Dicey as well and everything is falling apart here but it's back to even remains. strength. Make it now a two on one. It's Kusta on the C site. And he's got a crossfire to deal with. One with the knives, one with the weapon. The cage goes down perfectly. The flash is going to come through here. The peak actually followed up. But no, Kusta's still not spotted. Spike is still in control of 100 Thieves as well. And this is just so dicey. It's Asuna. To as the run it backs are going to be traded in this round, Mikhail trying to do. Whatever he can, trying to spray through the box. Dicey full HP is going to get dinked on the way out on the Molotov, keeping Sean at bay. Flash around the corner, and there's the Odin that we spoke about. It's Mikhail with the upgrade and the 3K. Alt, we are tied 2-2. Two to two. Swin trying to get some information, pushing through this A-Link here. Dicey going to get spotted out in the back. Only a Stinger to his name in the 2v1. Now it's going to be reinforced by Asuna, and they're going to catch him in the back as they push on. It's a spike on the ground. Bok, it's all up to Kusta. Gusta tries to go through that blaze wall, doesn't really stand a chance as Asuna is waiting on the other side. Show it as a match because it was that obscure. Here's the ult coming in as well. Hunter's Fury does go down. Dicey trying to dodge the damage on short, takes significant damage though in that fight. Exactly so then gets rounded on as they come through. Mikael picks off Steel on the flank and it's a four on two with Genji returning fire here against Hunter Thieves. And again, that back and forth volley continues. Not done just yet in that back and forth. And again, this was the eco round to come out. Genji buying everything they could. Now getting the upgrades that they need. And Kusta doing everything he can to right his wrongs. Eco once more finds himself up in heaven in a clutch situation. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Eco working against the clock now. 90 HP. Got some armor to his name. They're going to hear him jumping on down. He's got to play. There's the first kill coming out on to win. Able to sneak away for now. The Hunter sure he's going to try and find the tag, but he's just going to get dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. He has to do something. He's running out of time, and I don't know if he goes. Got this one here. Halfway on the spike. It's Mikhail to close it out over towards this C site. Now, this is not what I was expecting as Nitro takes down Gimon, and unfortunately, to be locked down inside. Ooh. No, able to find another kill on the way out, and Nitro has been on fire since his return, and it doesn't stop here on Haven, but Kusta. Finds the Lurker with a Lurk of his own. I like this play from Kusa as well. He gets far away and dodges a knife too as he jumps up into the window. Now the dart was in when he has to be careful as there's players already moving out onto the site. There's the Tailwind and the updraft from Dicey. Smoke's gonna go down on the spike. He knows that his target is at least a decent distance away. So he initially sticks it, pulls off after getting it halfway. It's now up to Kusta to try and stop this one and he's not gonna get there in time. Dicey just picks an off angle, sticks the defuse. This is scary right now for Gen.G as 100 Thieves will be able to retake pretty easily with what's left here for Gen.G. And a beautiful arrow going to force Win out of that upper ground oh, advantage. Oh. Mikhail from downtown though finds a double kill. Unfortunately, one was on his teammate, so we're still Last in a 2v2 on the site. Make it a 1v1. Sean needs to come up clutch here. It's the Stinger. He does not feel great there to have those knives down, Operator. Also taken out, so is Kusta. Hiko gonna find that kill, but the imposter will fall as Asuna goes down almost immediately in response. A 3v2, though, 
for 100 thieves and you have to plant the spike here if you're Genji. you're running out of time and you know that the push is going to be coming to dash out onto the side of tico with the shock guard and nitro all right, well now Gimon has to make a move as he's stuck in this corner. Now they're going to send some shock darts into that corner, but it only does five damage. Nice headshot left. around the bend onto Hiko. And again, low HP for two of the players remaining here. So what do they decide to do? They're going to see if they can get on this A site. A site is completely empty at this point. So Genji is going to have to play retake. Once Nitro takes out this tripwire, he'll be able to sneak onto the site and he'll start pulling them over. Ten seconds left. But what can Steel do in the meantime? Look at Steel's lurk coming through window. Uh, never mind. Steel can't do anything. He's three HP and he gets shot in the head. Yeah, that that was a tough one. It was you'd really be hoping for a lot uh, from Steel on three HP to to be able to find anything there. And unfortunately, that lurk goes a bit awry. Zasna looking to peek up the back end of the paranoia, but unfortunately, Kusta is there to help his teammate out. And it's all up to Nitro, who's been pretty solid in the multi-kill category. Able to find one, not the second. It's a slow play, and unfortunately gets sniffed out there. The Shock Dart gonna drop the spike, and that Flash gonna... Oh, Mikhail just short. backs away from it all. It's Paranoia is short. Uh, curveball doesn't spot anything, and... Once more, the bouncer standing at the door here of this A site, not letting anybody in, not even Dicey, as he goes able to trade one back with the shock dart of his own, but can't sneak into the smoke. Set up in mid. Oh, he was spotted. Or was he? I thought for sure they saw him and they did. Okay, so that's actually a big conversion. That's the SMG pickup for Gimon. Asuna actually uses the ult walks through into Garage. What they're not anticipating is a second player behind him. So that's actually really well set up. The dart will go in, and there's ults being popped on both sides. Sean's just gonna charge in, doesn't seem to care. The run it back works out nicely for Sean. And we're now in a three on two. Spamming towards the spike, but there's no one currently on it. He's still got Dicey inside. Short hot hands goes down to try and slow him down. Curveball around the corner as well. They tap the remains. spike again one more time, but it's all down to Gimon. Great damage coming out from Dicey, who finds four on the round. We're playing out towards long, which is actually where the other trap wire is. There's no omen. There's no way around it. So looks like both eyes, both pairs of eyes can be back towards this defender side and spawn. Recon Volk can grab some information, but steal to mow him down 100 thieves. You've got a lot of bodies built up in spawn right now. Asuna has to go big from this position. An updraft over top of the smoke does get them some intel as they start to fly through. That's Kusta to pick off Asuna. That means they've lost control of Garage. They have to be so careful as Kusta gets another one. Gimon now currently up on top of the site. And just like that, Genji's made it. Steals on the flank, but they throw off the hat. They've got that position. They know where it's at. And because of that off angle position of the spike behind the box, Steel can't quite line it up. But going into that next round, only a couple members can really buy. So this one going to be important. Oh. And Dicey finding that kill is just as. John's able to trade one back onto Steel and Asuna. Looking to play aggressive. Going to get tagged out by the trap wire. Curveball coming on through. Nitro playing the off angle out towards A. Should be able to find a multi-kill out of this. It's all about timing. No! He gets spotted out. Now he has to be careful. Has to back off. The Aldrone ending at the perfect time. Kusta's still able to convert onto Asuna, who was around the bend. And you know he wants to spray through that wall, but it's Sean on site trying to give Kusta a fighting chance. It'll come down to this. A one-on-one -on -one between Kusta and Dicey. Dicey at Full health, one kill away from the blades as well. So picking this one up, gonna feel nice for the next round. And Kusta had been struggling on defense or on offense, excuse me, to find these clutches. Now needs to do it on the defending end. Zero utility to his name and only 70 HP. He does have quite a bit of time. And Dicey holding this angle knows this is really the only way he can come from. Unless he does fake the defuse here. Kusta gonna push on through. He's gonna swing. Oh, he's gonna find the kill. Kusta goes huge. He breaks his ankles, but it doesn't matter. What a clutch. Everybody playing off. This is really good post plant. And ultimately, the only post plant that you can have. But Kusta, again, finds the lurker in steel and looks to put his team in a winning situation. Oh, Sean. Picking off Dicey as well, who had the ult. Quinn's got the knives out and says, I'll see you one and do even better. They tap the spike, but they know they can't stick it. There's one out of the window and one still up inside. They have to go for this one-to-one -one and they grab it. Shock, shock dart, no, it's oh. in. They're not gonna have time. 
500 Thieves oh. win the round off of an impressive fadeaway coming in from Hiko. His teammates. Now he does end up switching things up, ends up getting a Phantom out of it. Look at the setup. It's a five on five post plant again. This time they're waiting for this peak to come through. You've got two players here. It's masterfully set up. Sean does pop run it back and starts to run it through the site. Knows there's one inside the cyber cage. They try to get out onto the site. Kus is here with the judge, but it's not really going to work for too much longer. Mikael doing what he can. It's now down to Sean. It's a one on two. Nice flash around the corner, but the damage is dealt. Hold on. Sean still has a chance. Plays while going in. Hot hands as well. Taps the spike. Knows the recon dart's going to give away his position, but doesn't seem to care. As again, tapping that spike. There's again the shock darts coming through from Hiko. Hiko's also got the ult, but he's just gonna go for the peak, potentially halfway, doesn't matter. 12 rounds for 100 Thieves. We will see the return fire come in from Gen G as well, as the pulses allow them to get some space onto the site. Time though currently is of the essence. You've got steel inside the cage. Hold on, it's a four on three. They've run out of utility as they're trying to get out onto the site. They do stick the spike behind the blaze ball, but Asuna drops, it's down to Hiko yet again. He's taking damage, the spike's being stuck. We're going to overtime. Down A long, will be on the flank. Genji though, looking to play things nice and quick. And there's the op shot that you needed if you're 100 Thieves. Nitro is here to back him up. The spray will come through and Hiko finds another Genji. Down to their last two, down to their last one. As it's all up to Quinn in a 1v4. Quinn at least finds one kill, but look at the damage dealt. And there's three players waiting on the other side. Actually two on site. One has now shifted away, and Dicey's got the lineup here as we swap sides. They've got to pick up the win here. And a recon bolt to get the information. When to find one, but no, two traded back immediately. Dicey trying to secure things here for 100 Thieves. Heaps of damage traded back and forth. Dicey walks out not unscathed. Who oh, better than on the flank is able to find three? And Sean from downtown gonna take us to double OT. The help you get back onto the site, now you're just relying on your utility, which again is somewhat limited because one of your players, Dicey, doesn't even have armor. He flies out over the top of the site. 100 Thieves is gaining fast ground onto the site. And again, it's down to one. They can't set up the post plants the way they need to. Oh, man. And this could be it. 100 Thieves getting that plant down. They only need to find this round win to close things out here on map one. It's felt like such a long journey and Steel happy with the upgrade, finds a kill for himself, cuts the numbers down, Dicey is there, Mikhail was low, now he was gone. And it's all up, Ray, 2v4, Gimon not gonna be good for four this time around. Who better than Steel? He creeps on up, he finds the 3K and 100 Thieves will close it out in OT. Gimon, he's gotta be careful. Are they gonna check this corner? He needs some help from his teammate far away. Doesn't get it. So now Gimon's stuck in a bad spot. Not getting that kill is actually huge. Not downing that Owl drone faster means that instead of maybe getting an opening out of Gimon, he's hung out to dry. And now they've got this C site. There's another utilization for the wall that actually goes into the tube and cuts that one in half. Dicey goes top rope. And able to find one with the Frenzy. Again, this is pre-nerf, so that's why the Frenzy is so prominent here in this pistol round. As it comes down to Kusta and Kusta only. And despite it, his heroics from map one. Whereas you still got Dicey on A, so if they were to decide to back off, which it doesn't look like they will, there's potential here. That's a big nade from Sean. That stops the spike, and now it initiates the movement from that player who's over on A, and, but it's too late. You've already got the flank coming in from Kusta and from Quinn, so Dicey's play site, and then the jig is up. They're going to be moving into this A site to try and take control and get a spike policeman out of it. And you don't have a whole lot of time to work with here as Mikhail finds one onto Dicey. That's the stinger that he's been hanging on to. Nitro able to trade one back with the help of Asuna to find some damage on the back of the site. Gen G staying nice and healthy only for a moment. The Vandal in the hands of Steel and a Guardian for Hiko. This force, it's it's gone way past stingers it's a vandal and a guardian and it's all up to gimon here who needs to try and do something heroic and a recon dart out yet again quinn can stay in this position and it might net early success do they spot him through the wall that's what he's got to be careful of the updraft is in nice shot in a tailwind to get away the dart's going to give away the position as well and that's kusta converting onto asuna just like that genji's got control of the round and Kusta opting into using that wall, maybe just positioning as he finally falls down, but not before finding one more, but was able to get up top, get some elevation, 
and find that kill onto Asuna. 1v4. This is uh, for the highlight reel. Should he be able to get it? The recon bolt. Not actually going to spot him out there. But that spike. Ooh, that's the opt down. Maybe he can do a bit more damage on the back end. The smoke goes through. Now the plant finally. Deal is in position with the sheriff. Has to be careful. The boom bot's going to give away the position. Looking to line up the shots. Somehow is still alive. Not sure how. Tucks into the corner. More damage being dealt as Asuna now arrives with some support. And from distance, Asuna is going to get three kills on the round. It's down to just one remaining player in Nitro with the scooped up op. Rounds ago, taking out Quinn, who had an op in an aggressive position by just hitting him with the drive by. And here it'll be Asuna who kicks things off. Playing in an obscure role that we don't typically see him in. Playing as a support, not a duelist, as Sage. But it doesn't seem to be hurting him all that much. The battle Sage role catered to him, it seems. As again, 100 Thieves have a player advantage. Make it two. Nice shot from Dicey as well. Catching Gimon, who tries to leap around the corner. Doesn't work out so well for them. And now 100 Thieves is starting to spread the gap. Where the last map was very close, a back and forth battle, it seems like 100 Thieves is starting to click on this attacking side. Found my wire. Cage triggered. We come bolt to the back of sight. There's just not a whole lot that you can't expect. They do hear Austin up pushing through. It's the shorty to take the weapon away. Now it's all up to Mikhail. Finger in hand. Bompton into forcing up here. Too sad about it. As a whole, and I would imagine... No, not even going to go for the save. I thought maybe looking to play safe. But... Down from two, Mikael trying to get into position in time to maybe spot out one player, but Dicey's just too quick with the operator. And the round is very likely lost here. It's a five on three. They've still got res, and they've also got the Jettle. Now, there is a Showstopper and Neural Theft available for Genji, but they've got no space. They've got no room to move on this site. And with that kill coming through on Dakusa, the round is all but lost. 100 Thieves, this, they look so good on this attacking game. side right now. That's exactly where I was headed with it. They, they're they not giving, you, you talked about the change in momentum, the change in speed, the way they're bouncing around. Huge res, because it was an even bigger pickup early on from Quinn to take Nitro out of the equation. And we talked about how pivotal Nitro has been at times. He goes for the ult onto the site, does give away their position. We see a counter ult come out from Gimon, who sneaks behind enemy lines, somehow survives long enough as Hiko is trying to find a way to tiptoe out onto that ledge. By the time he gets there, Gimon is able to fire. It's an even three on three, but with Nitro's position in mid, they just have to wait. They have to allow Nitro to come in on this backstab. They have to make noise to keep them honest. There's the knives coming out, but they didn't wait long enough. Not patient enough for Nitro's lurk. Now everything falls down. They're rushing ways, trying to storm onto this B site. Now, Huin, you know you're in the smoke, buddy. He's got to find a way out. He does not have the dash. Now he's on 11 HP. He's slowed, and he does not have a whole lot. It's Hiko with the shock dart. Sit him down, and 100 deep. They try to go to their playbook. They try to make the play a couple of times. It doesn't work. So they flip the page and they start doing it differently this time around. But Gen G starting to battle back here, finding some major kills, stopping the spike plant. But at the end of the day, it all just has not been enough. Sean able to find one, looking for a second. The paranoia, the snipe. There, there is another res available, and that is the best part about having your battle sage. There's the res to come through. It's Hiko from downtown. Find a tag onto one. Iman goes good for another. Onto Asuna. And ha had an advantageous oh, position run. for a moment. Should be given up, but Gen G, they're starting to find these kills. They're trickling on through, but they're traded right back. He goes able to get another Nitro, goes into the smoke, and there he is, Mr. Multi Kill. This is their Killjoy ultimate, so they're A-OK, -okay, just hanging on out there, both detained. And Gimond, you are not long for this world. <laughs> Finally spotted out in the end, too. On the Killjoy. There's not a whole lot of trips that you can put down in your spawn. As they jump on to the site, maybe we'll see something aggressive coming out from Kusa's. Kills come through, kills traded back and forth. Gimon able to find another, so now 100 Thieves starting to get whittled down, and it's Steel on the flank, and the Sage to try and heal and get away. Now it's all up to Steel in a 1v4, and we were talking about it before we hopped on after that break. This was a round that Genji needed to win, and they do just that. As a free site against this 100 Thieves roster, the Turks will be taken down. Steel now going to be privy to this as Kusta finds that kill. Nitro, though, 
Taking a page out of Steel's book with that Bucky will be traded. And it is going to be a 3v4 retake. The remaining three 400 Thieves coming from that A site. I see. Aggressive posture. Going to find that kill. The right click three round burst from the Stinger is just too strong. Now things are even for a moment. 100 Thieves starting to battle back here. And what does it matter if you won the pistol? Win has to go huge here in the next round. Bach, you called it. You said they have to win this one. One of which is going to be the bulldog for Dicey. Dicey might just be able to line this one up. Yeah, that's almost an easy kill as the Slopey comes in from Kusta. The SMG is successful for Win. You've got Asuna who's sitting on the other side of the wall. As the wall gets broken and the slow orb goes down, the self heal will come through to bring him back up to full HP. The dart will give away positions, and again, it is 100 Thieves who are in the control position. Nice tap shots coming out from Gimon to at least make things a little bit more manageable. But even look at how much of a nuisance Asuna is being with just a stinger, putting Gimon down to 13 HP, and now they're backing off and licking their wounds. It gets a lot more scary, Hiko. Almost finding some contact there. He's going to swap on over. There's the shot coming down the Bucky just enough. Sentence Gimon to death. Now Mikhail running out of time. It's the Bucky once more. But what they're going to do that's a little bit different is they're going to play this one fast. So they're just going to dive bomb the site. And they might actually be able to get some openings here. One of which is with Kusta, but you've also got the old pup. And the knives are out. It doesn't necessarily work so well as Nitro was able to do what Nitro does best. But in the meantime, that allowed Quinn to get into position to at least trade that kill out. There's some rifles picked up here and there's a fighting chance for Genji off the back of this. Now, Quinn knows better than to try to take out the, the drone with the knives, favoring that instead. He goes still on the shotgun, diving around, doing a deer hunter impersonation, and it's working out quite, quite nicely for him. You're down to just one remaining member of Genji again. Mikhail cannot fight his way out of it. He not only that, but has to creep up to that body and then get that info. It's it's definitely an uphill battle and win, making things look a bit more doable, but Nitro is there to trade it back. And we know that Nitro, he's Mr. Multi-Kill, so I would imagine that's not the last kill we see in this round. One thing they did really good, though, they smoked off the turret. That's what allowed them to do what they just did, because Steel was not anticipating that play being possible because the turret was in that position. Now the res comes through, so Steel is brought back into the fold. Ult's being popped across the board. Gimon tries to escape and get into a better position with his ult, but again, it's a numbers advantage here for 100 Thieves, and it's all down to the last remaining player. It's Kusta, who's getting pushed from Kitchen. The Cyber Cage does not get there in time. That's five on the round for Nitro, as Gen G succumb to 100 Thieves. 13 to four in map number two, nowhere near as close as map one. Gen G knocked out.